Project 39 mini albums, and I want to show you a project I made with the fabulous Monster Madness paper by Doodlebug. This just came out, and if you follow me, you know the story. I live in trouble in my RV, and I was passing through Washington State and going right by Three Craft Chicks, a scrapbook store located in the area we were passing through. And I was passing right at the time that this fabulous collection came out. So um, with help from the owner, Michelle, um, we coordinated that I could get there when they had the product. So that was fabulous. That was fabulous. So Monster Band is obviously you're going to get all these adorable monsters. I mean, I mean, I mean, just cute. So, um, so yeah, so I grabbed... The I, odds and ends, I grabbed the 12 by 12 paper pack. I grabbed a lot more than that, but that's just what I was going to start with. Um, the petite print. I also picked up um, some puffy icons and the uh, icon cardstock sticker, the shape sprinkle and the star shape, and a shaker pop, which you will see. So let me show you what I made with all that fun stuff. So I made this chipboard mini album and the story of it is I was inspired by a um, wooden shape that I got from Dollar Tree. I just loved the peaks of the um, the shape and I've used it in another project I'll link that project above to show you what else I made with it but it just had the right amount of peaks and valleys and fun so it looks like in you know sort of uh, a little haunted house so let me show you a little bit about it so here's my doodle pop or doodle sprinkle it's the little ghosty sort of flying around this little house I made a little window, put a fun monster in the window, and then there's the door that came from the uh, odds and ends, and it sort of was a perfect opening for the front of this mini. Um, these were from the sticker sheets. That's a puffy shape. There's puffy, and then I have the stars. That's puffy, the little monsters holding this little lollipop and of course a couple of adorable pumpkins with a puffy pumpkin. So uh, I just thought that was a good introduction to the book but let me take you inside. So my first set of pages, let's see if I can get it in camera. All right let's um, continue. So here I've got a page ready for a four by six photo. photo. Of course it's open here, anywhere you see something overlapping, it's open. And I've got a little tag peeking out here. It's got another um, monster car. And uh, there I'm showing you that's open. So just a couple things. That's a simple page. I do have, this is from the sticker sheet. These are the puffy icons and a heart from the sticker sheet. And also I did have this pack of paper frills. I have purple paper frills. So that's what that is. So, um, and then it matches with this page, and I took this 4x4 four four cut apart and made it into a flap. So you still could put a photo there, and um, I mean, that sort of is apropos for my lifestyle. And then this is a puffy um, sticker, and there's um, a tree from the, not from the icons, from the bits and pieces. So there is that. So what I have is I have several chipboard pieces and then I've got some heavyweight cardstock pieces in between. So now this will open and this is cardstock. And there's a spot there for a small picture. And this was from the border sheet that was a cut apart. And it sort of matches nicely with the, um, the previous page, doesn't it? I mean, I just love this orange and green. Now this is another cardstock sheet with a pocket in it and there is a cute little journaling card three by four journaling card and that says hello pumpkin bright orange and green 
and then that will further open giving you more spots because October and Halloween is all about the pumpkins. So um, carving pumpkin and room for a small photo there and from the sticker sheet it says hello pumpkin and room here again for a 4x6 cut apart with a tag that I put a little bit of uh, string from my stash uh, just to add a little bit of texture. That's from the sticker sheet. So now we'll open that and this is chipboard and this will bring us to the ghosty page. So uh, room for a 4x6 photo there that of course is open on the side and so is that. I put a little boo sticker there these quotation marks from the sticker sheet and uh, that just to coordinate with it all. I love the ghost with the cute little pink uh, cheeks. So here's another ghost. This is a tag and this is open here on the bottom so you can still add your photo and of course it's open right there. So again this is a uh, cardstock sheet. The album by the way measures eight and a half by five is the basic pages but it goes let's see as high as nine and a half and again these I got just from tracing these just to get that shape I mean really it's just a triangle on a on a square so it wouldn't be difficult to recreate yourself so on here we've got the monster with the candy background. Love that. Could have gone crazy with the candy, but I didn't. But these next couple of pages are all about the monster and the candy. The monster's pulling a cart with lots of candy. Um, and I just put a couple of scraps on the corners just to break up that candy. And then here are the monsters having a good old time, including S-Wing up in the eave of the house. This one's hanging from the ceiling, because why not? And then more candy. I've got, this was from the border strip, so this was connected. I just cut it all and put it on this uh, triangle piece. And that says trick or treat, smell my feet. And then we've got the give me something good to eat here on the bottom. These were parts of the, oh, I keep thinking I'm saying the wrong word. Um, not the shapes. Not the bits and pieces. The odds and ends. The odds and ends. These are odds and ends and some of the puffy stickers added into there. Now this one is was a 8.5 by 5 piece of cardstock, but I folded it and added a little magnet to make that a little flap. But there is room there to put a photo. Of course, a tuck spot there. And then you could put another small picture right there. And this is just a journaling card that was tucked into there, just that holds it tight. There was a cute little kitty cat here, which I really wanted to keep, but I mean, we got the monster, so I had to keep the monster. This will move like that. And see, I like how it all still flows together. Uh, room there for your photo. And of course, there's a tuck spot there and room for your picture here. And this is held down with a magnet, but that comes up, which gives you room for a small 3x3 three three or 3x4 three photo. They are getting ready here in the campground we're at for winter, pulling up the blocks. So if I wait until I finish this, it might be November. Um, anyhow, cute. I, I don't know when you, I can tell you spiders are cute, but on this page they certainly are. Again, this is a chipboard piece. So I've got the eyeball page, and I've got some of the monsters there ready so you could put a picture there on the side um, and tuck it in with these monsters. I put some of the eyeballs from the puppy stickers here, and of course he's like the master of the eyeballs. Um, and then this page sort of coordinates with it, a sticker, and one of the odds and ends right there, and room for a 4x4 photo. I took some of those paper frills that I had in purple um, and put it on the edge of the page just to add uh, something a little different. These were purple, but I turned them facing each other. I'm looking to see if I have one. Here's one. So there's purple 
but on the back side it is white. So I just faced each other. If I had black, I would have used black. And then that, and this is again cardstock. It's cut a little bit smaller. Uh, I think this is seven and a half by five. And so here I've got room for a four by six photo with one of our cute little monsters hanging out there. It says October 31st on the bottom, and that is a, a tuck spot. You could still put your photo on this page. That is, um, I just punched it with my um, stamp. I like how this guy sort of sticks out from that October 31st. And then the final page has this. Now you could put a photo over there. I just loved this element from the sticker sheet and wanted to use them somewhere. I've got a couple of pumpkins there um, and then some elements from the sticker sheet. There's Happy Halloween, which is the three by four cut apart. Um, yeah. And then the back page just says spooky fun. I left that pretty simple because that is the back page. I was going to join this with a cinch, but it is an inch and three quarters. And once you add photo, it's going to be even taller. So I decided to use some large rings. So uh, the recipient has lots of room to add photos. So that is what I have for you today. Again, using the Doodlebug Monster Madness, which just came out um, just in the beginning of October and of September 2022. I do have a process video, and there will be a link in the description box for that once it's done. I show you how I made the, um, the mini album and then I go through the process of decorating most of it. I, I don't show you decorating all the little things, but most of the decorating. So if you'd like to see that, don't forget to uh, hit the bell for notifications so you see when that comes out. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and see all the other things I'm going to do. I still have some Doodlebug paper left. I have my favorite, this Doodle Pop, with the guy with the dad jokes book. Um, so I know I'm going to do something special for that. I'll probably do um, another small mini album, probably. I'm going to grab out some of my old Halloween photos, too. All right, that's what I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching, and have a fabulous day.